Howdy folks, welcome back. Today we're going to be taking a look at the dual battery 60 volt Greenworks Pro lawnmower. And I guess, you know, to start off, we'll do the uh, operation to load her up and get her ready. I have two batteries. One, the battery that came with it, the 5 amp high capacity, and then this little 2 amp that came with the weed eater and I apologize for the trucks in the background making all the noise but yeah uh, this here is your safety key you keep that keeps you from accidentally starting the mower and makes your connection there for the batteries that does have a soft close and as you can see this is a mower that's been very well used. It's at the end of the year. It's October now. I've used this all summer. And you can see it's been driven hard and put up wet. You got your adjustment here. Very handy. Go all the way down. I prefer to keep it at about 3. Now this mower can mulch. It can bag. I'll give you a good look up in there of the bagging. Got some cobwebs on it from where the spiders have tied the nest in the garage. And it can side discharge. I prefer side discharge. But those two batteries equal about 7 amps. And they'll do about an hour's worth of mowing. Which I'm going to show you here. In fact, I'd say the batteries in the mower, or in the glasses that I'm wearing right now, will probably die out before the mower does to be perfectly honest and you also know the grass is the grass we have here is a bit high at the moment because you know I wanted to give you guys a real-world torture test of sorts I know people like to know how these will do but the operation pull up the lever and hit start there's your battery gauge this is your turbo button you can hit that to give you some more power and this is your uh, speed since it's self propelled and self propelled if you flip that all the way up it's at running pace but I'm kinda old Also, I'm going to mention another thing. I might not always use the self-propelled feature because the mower is pretty easy to push. And um, you do save battery life pushing it. And by the way, the batteries automatically switch over. So, uh, yeah, let's get this done. Those gauges ain't fully accurate, by the way. You see this right here, this is what grandfather does to me. He likes to put rocks in the yard. Because again, he's uh, a little bit crazy. But yeah, if, if this mower will handle this yard and this property, and that back, basically if this will handle this yard and that property, this yard and this property and that hill back there, it'll handle about anything.
Now I've got my first circuit and path cut. Um, now it should be pretty much non-stop mowing. One of the other features about this mower is if you've got it on self-propel and you allow it to self-propel, it won't row backwards for a few moments until it rows forwards just a little bit. I think that's a safety feature to, to keep the, the lawn mower from rowing back on people. But uh, yeah, I'm going to get the rest of this. And like I said, I probably could have lowered it a little more, but um, I think this is a good real world test and example for people because as, as you can see this yard is a mess and it's it's not level it looks kind of level but it's really uphill downhill the backyard is even worse and again if this mower can handle it all year without missing a beat uh, I mean that's that's battle tested so to speak so here we go I'm going to show you folks one of the issues though I do have with this mower is the, the side discharge here it gets clogged I mean it still works because it's a mulching mower but and that's pretty dry grass right there so yeah without fail every time I try to narrate trucks go by but keep them hauling but anyway um, yeah, you can see the side discharge there for whatever reason it gets clogged up I'm sure there's some modifications you could do to fix that but it works fine even if it don't because this is a mulching mower also it's just I don't know a little aggravating but let's get back to work and these gauges ain't totally accurate in fact before we get in here we can see well no, that's pretty accurate As you can see, I'm no expert lawn care technician. You know, my technique is just roll over it. And this yard is, I mean, we're literally living out in the forest, so every fucking thing grows in this yard. It's not one of these finely manicured yards. It's not level. This lawn mower has been, I mean, it's just been used and put up all summer. Got the whole yard. Still got some charge in this 5.0. So if 5.0 will do a, a yard like this, you know, the battery that comes with it. But we've also, you know, we've got a full charge over here on our little reserve battery. So I could probably get another 15 or 30 minutes. Well, 20 minutes, 15 minutes, 30 minutes. It all depends on how you use it. But it's an, it'll be enough for me to go down the, the drive there and get this, which we're gonna do right now just to show you uh, you will notice maybe when the battery switches over it'll stutter a little bit but other than that there goes my uncle don't know if you noticed the hood or not but he, he hit a deer so And to be 
be fair, this tight terrain like this, I mean, this is why I have the weed eater also. You, you literally, to get up in all these little nooks and crannies, you got to use the weed eater. And to be fair, I can do this on both batteries. I can do this whole yard and half of the backyard, or the whole backyard and half of this yard. About an hour's worth, an hour and 20 minutes worth of charge time and, and lawn work with this thing. Also, keep in mind, I've just had some booster shots. I've had hay fevers. I'm, I'm sick as a dog right now. I need to get this spot right here, but this hose is in the way. And uh, this thing is so easy to roll around and move around, even me being sick, um, I'm doing it. As you can see, we got a lot of leaves and shit too. I'll be doing more videos if I'm not already showing the leaf blower and the weed either. But this battery here is still full. We're actually still running on this battery. Now, if you wanted to, you could do this, swap them out, let this one cool off a little bit, get some recharge, and that will increase your run time some. Uh, you don't have to do that, but I found uh, it helps. But I'm going to get around, trim around here. You see there's junk everywhere. It's like a minefield out here for, for uh, yard work. It's Appalachian as fuck, y'all. I mean, see that? That string trimmer wire? It's because my grandfather, he just... He gives no fucks. He just throws trash down in the yard and everything else like a, a heathen. Senile as fuck, dude. But, I mean... So little things handled and I've literally ran over fucking weed whacker trim and got it all tangled up in the blades before and it's been fine I almost think he does that shit on purpose to piss me off but yeah if it can handle this property it can handle just about anything most residential properties at least but yeah let's uh, get on the tour and I'll do another video someday doing that backyard because it's a real test and you can see these lawn mowers here. That's the reasons I got the electric one. Is because I can't keep these fucking gas mowers running. They breaking down every... It's been more work tinkering on these gas motors. And these gas mowers. Because again, the situation and the condition. We don't have a perfect garage and perfect parts. And lots of money and skill. And talent. Or whatever. My grandfather's crazy as fuck. He's always breaking shit. Um, you see, we've got one mower here. Don't run. One mower here. Don't really run. Got that one up there. Don't really run. Got another one up there. We've got at least four or five mowers here. Most of these fuckers, they don't even run half the time. That one's ran nonstop, religiously, for a year straight. Hard work. Doing all the work of them four by itself.
Are you coming to shit in the freshly mowed yard? Is that what you're looking for? Or are you gonna piss on it? Yeah, you're gonna piss on it. Yeah. <laughs> Oh lordy, ain't he adorable? And you know, I know there'll be some YouTube comment police out there that'll be like, You're doing it wrong. That's dangerous. You should always mow sideways on a grade. You shouldn't just go up the hill like that. You shouldn't go through them sticks and leaves. And that's kind of the point. I mean, I'm showing you, I'm showing all you experts if it can handle a guy that don't know what the fuck he's doing even though I've cut this yard for 40 years almost <laughs> even though uh, I'm not quite 40 I'm getting 40 30 in my late 30s now I guess I started mowing when I was about 10 this property somewhere around there so maybe 20 years, 30 years is more accurate. But yeah, if it can handle a dumb fuck like me, abusing it and misusing it, then oh man, all you experts out there, imagine what you could do with a machine like this. And uh, yeah, I'm impressed with it. I'm absolutely happy with it. The reason that I bought one of these is aside from having the weed eater. As I saw another torture test video of a lady, can't remember her name off off the, the bat, but if I can put a link in the description, I will. And uh, she, <laughs> she, her yard was worse than mine. She's running over plastic bags and bottles and everything. <laughs> so I said, if she can handle it, I can handle it. If a woman like that can do it. Um, one thing I'm not so sure about though, it's got headlights on it. You think battery operated, you wouldn't need them headlights. They're good like later in the evening if you're mowing. Because uh, it is pretty quiet compared to other mowers. But you would think those those lights would run run the batteries down a little more. But uh, yeah, we've still got two on that one. And this one's came back up to about one and a half. So... I could get the top part of that yard there if I want to, but I don't know if my, my glasses batteries are going to hold up. So like I said, I don't know if I'm going to have the battery life in the glasses compared to the battery life in this mower. You know, will outlast these glasses, I believe, that I'm wearing, these camera batteries. But if I can, if my footage don't cut out, I'm going to show you, like you get done mowing, you still got a little extra juice. was switched on that's not how it's supposed to be up here. again papa grandpa messing with stuff <laughs> I should have checked that though before uh, I honestly should have checked it I'm gonna leave that in there for now uh, but yeah you, know, you can get done say you want to do a little weed eating whatever still have the battery powered uh, the juice and here they come here they home
<laughs> Better get groceries. If you found this video useful or entertaining, don't forget to like share and subscribe as it really helps the channel out you can also leave questions and comments down below until next time take care thanks for watching and bye bye